And welcome back to Inside Tennessee, where we took a break, though the conversation really didn't stop a whole lot. So let's go ahead and just continue the, 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 the fun and merriment. Yeah, I, we really should have had all that on tape. Um, uh, two questions. One, Scott, what does John Owings say as far as case law and, and what you all are going by? Does he consider it a quorum to be the sunshine? And then, Frank, do you consider it a quorum? I'd be clearly not, but I mean, I'd like to hear some discussion about you know, that. I think John Owings thinks it's a quorum. I've talked to some other attorneys in Knoxville. They think it's a quorum. Uh, I think anybody that serves on a board ha understands that, you know, you're going to have some communication, but, you know, deliberating is something else. Maybe coming to that, knowing how you're going to vote when you go into a meeting is, is something different. But, you know, I think this case is heading in the right direction. We, we need to get it in the courtroom so we understand what it is. Frank, but, what's your response to the quorum idea? Well, the, the Sunshine Law says two or more. It, it addresses chance meetings, informal assemblages. Uh, or electronic communication says that cannot be used to deliberate business. Doesn't mean you can't exchange information, factual information. Uh, the court case that uh, the chairman alluded to, Memphis case back in 1990, the Tennessee Court of Appeals, which is, you know, which is the law, says that when a county commissioner didn't like a candidate for a, a vacant position on the county commission and went out and solicited a candidate and then lined up five more votes uh, on the county commission to elect that candidate over a candidate who had r run in a general election a few months before and lost, the Court of Appeals said that is a violation. It, it strikes me that the Sunshine Law, whether it's practical or not, because I, I actually agree at some level with Scott and Lumpy that th there, it, 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 makes, it could make government and governance so cumbersome that certain things might not be accomplished, but it is what it is. And it strikes me right. that it's very clear. Do you agree? It's two or more. Well, the difference here is this happened on the TV. This was broadcast, as I understand it. It you was know, broadcast. And we all watched. I mean, those of us who were at home were like, I couldn't wonder. stand it. I had that, that would have been fine. He was there. I was sick. That would have been fine if someone had made, a, made an announcement at the beginning of the meeting. We don't believe the Sunshine Law applies to us, so we're going to recess and go figure this oh, out. I think Jack would have been in the well, courthouse <laughs> a little <laughs> earlier than he was. Well, I think uh, one thing that, uh, you know, the... Whether or not the Sunshine Law is practical, uh, I can have some sympathy for the difficulties. Uh, I do believe that the two or more is what's in the law. There's no mention of a quorum. That's not, that's not what's in the law. But in addition to that, the law starts by saying that public business should be conducted in public. And what was startling to me out of the meeting was that public discussion was forbidden in the meeting and I guess that would be my question Commissioner Moore is why was discussion during the meeting when my reading of the law says that's the time when it's supposed to take place why was it disallowed? Let me, let me, let me answer one question first about the two or more I think that's in the definition section of the statute uh, certainly I don't think there's nowhere in the statute that says two or more that the definitions count in the definition the but it talks about how the body's made up not about two or more. And I mean, we can debate that issue. I understand where these gentlemen come from, but I have a different opinion. And I think my opinion is just as important as their opinion, and the final decision is going to be made by a judge somewhere. And, but, your, but your opinion on that has been backed up by John Owens, who, for and those who don't know, is the county attorney. But not by Tennessee Court. But, but not, not by, by Tennessee Court. court. So that's we, where we need to go, uh, I guess. But getting back about the discussion of the, uh, in the meeting, uh, the appointment process that we that we taken doesn't allow for discussion, and, and we talked about how we're going to have discussion, but how are we going to moderate? Who's going to moderate it? Was it going to be the chairman? What questions would we ask the candidates? Are we going to ask them all the same questions? We're going to let the audience ask the questions, and you know if you end up letting the audience ask questions to the public, are they going to come up there and, and say good things about the people they want? and then try to trash the other people. Chairman, isn't that what happens on any issue before it's a, it's a, county commission with public about, about no, you know, That's what happens during elections and stuff, but certainly not when you, people are but being appointed. it happens appointed. on zoning. It happens on county. I mean, I've watched many a person come to the podium and complain or, or support um, an action prior to county commission voting on it. Why action, not? but not, not people. Why not discussion among the commissioners? Even if you didn't have people appear or make a case or have a hearing of any sort, well, Jack, why did, not have, have discussion? Some, we did have some discussion. We had something out at Halls. We had something in Farragut. We had a, a forum at Whittle Springs. Uh, during the meeting, you put forth a motion, and then normally you say, Here, here's this. 
Is there any discussion? But well, the and one, commi it, and one commissioner stands up and says, I like, him, I like yeah. candidate A for this reason, and somebody yeah. else stands up, I Why like candidate B for party. this reason. All right. Any other discussion? Well, let me let me ask Swampy this because I, we we can probably fight for two hours on this. <laughs> the the new Sentinel had made a proposal essentially to settle this lawsuit by revoting this in open process. Don't take a recess to discuss it. Uh, although it may seem a bit mechanical and and sort of foregone conclusion, it struck me as a very easy, very inexpensive way to settle what may become a very expensive lawsuit. Tell me why you wouldn't accept that. That's offer. because you would trade one very expensive lawsuit for eight. Uh, no, actually 12. The problem with that is, is county commission has no authority to remove people from office. How do we get the people off to replace them? We simply do not have the authority to do that. Enter a if consent we, decree if that we, the election was void. It's if very we easy. kicked mm -hmm. them off, the then we would, have, uh, we would have a dozen lawsuits against us uh, for the one. And also, I think this is a good lawsuit. I think that it's that it's good that this is going to go to the courts, and we're going to find out once and for all what the Sunshine Law means. You're thanking Jack. <laughs> okay. Thank you. This this brings okay. clarity to it. Good now, now, now on the other side, you're spending a lot of money here. You're spending a lot of uh, your uh, your investors' money, uh, your stockholders' money in the paper, and we're spending a lot of Knox County money fighting this. But at the end of the day, everyone in Tennessee will know what the Sunshine Law is. Got plenty of we're, sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, on that cheery note, we're going to go ahead and take a break. We'll be right back. More than the county. <laughs> Quality. Luxury. Style. If you're the one that I want, then Howie. Double firing. You're fired. Grease, you're the one that I want. Deal or no deal. And The Apprentice L.A. Tonight, starting at 8, 7 central on NBC. The new Sentinel Women Today Expo, March 9th through... Or enjoy fashion shows and... ...him on the street. ...todayexpo.com for details. And welcome back to Inside Tennessee. Uh, surprise, surprise, discussions revolving around Knox County term limits and reappointing all of those members uh, and, and whatnot. This is the one question I've had about this. And as you know, I, I've been bouncing between the sports and news hats. But even as I've gone out on sports coverage, people who have been asking me about this, who normally don't delve into news, have been curious about this. There was discussion about all of the breaks and the recesses that were taken. Regardless of what happened, and that's going to be debated for eons uh, after this broadcast, there are people who say that regardless of what happened, there was going to be a perceived issue and that that was going to bring about some sort of contention and essentially cloud up what has already been a murky situation for so long. You mentioned the one recess that had to take place. About the other recesses, why were they needed? And did you know going into that that maybe you were going to open a Pandora's box that was going to initiate additional litigation on this issue? You know, no, we didn't think taking recesses. We take them all the time. Uh, when a commissioner asks for a recess, we always grant it. Uh, it. Different commissioners ask for recesses during that day, and uh, we took them for different reasons. Uh, most of them have been re restroom breaks or someone needs something to uh, drink. Uh, Scott, do you really think that was the case during this meeting when there would be these gasps and exasperations and locked up votes after vote and revote, and you go recess, and everybody would go in the back, and you'd come out, and there would be resolution? Was no, it a I don't, bathroom think, I don't, break I don't stuff? think there were always resolutions. We, t we continued to vote. I don't think I have to look at the tapes again to see exactly how many votes it took after we come back off of a, of a break. But, you know, people seen the process. If you don't like the process... It's all part of it. You've seen most of it. And most of it you talk about back room. It wasn't a back room. It's the, the hallway leading into the front door of the main assembly room. We were back there outside in the hallway, but... Uh, the news media and reporters had us two to one. If we said anything, they've heard it. They've got it. So if they've got something, bring it forward. Jack, did you get into the back? Did your reporters get into the back where the recesses were taken, where county commissioners were so congregating? Our, our reporters wandered and and covered some of it, but of course it was it was scattered everywhere. There was uh, the movement into the courtroom to have the uh, the one swearing in that uh, was needed to. Uh, to uh, Break finish the one, district. finish the, the fourth Scott district. Davis. And, and I think also, I mean, we're focused on the meeting, and it was pretty, uh, everybody was watching, and it was, oh, my God, here, you know, it's happening. But uh, there was a lot of other meetings that took place before, and uh, uh, discussions that occurred then. We